In today's video, we are going to be talking about the three co-founders of Alliance Block. Let's begin with Rashid Ajaja, who also is CEO. Rashid has extensive quantitative analyst background, four plus years in Barclay, which is a major British bank. In, a, in the last years before he started working for Alliance Block, he spent a year in Vinci, where he was researching stuff like the autonomous cars, AI, deep learning, and arguably that's also where his interest in blockchain started. Because if you connect to bank infrastructures, you need to be 100% secure that no one can hack you. Most of the, 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 the crypto companies, even if they have amazing products, they don't comply with the security rules that are the standard in the financial world. And this is why lots of products, they don't have this kind of adoption. When I usually comment on CEOs, I usually say that you don't want the CEO to be the geek. My reasoning for that is that the geeks tend to micromanage everything and cause more stalls and troubles uh, than they actually solve. That's my opinion, of course. Also, my other remarks that I sometimes make about CEOs, that you don't want them to be the serial CEOs because they tend to leave the project halfway and then the headless chicken situation is on the table. And thanks to all the contacts with Anders and all the teams that have done amazing job to be able to, to bring open worlds, which is basically an API that is used by the biggest financial institutions that are part of open world. Rashid strikes me at none of these, which is a good thing. He keeps me motivated when he speaks. I believe in the project's vision. Our ambition is to build the ecosystem of ecosystems. So we believe that we need to work together. We believe that we cannot just, we are not here just for the blockchain space, but we are for the DeFi and also for the traditional, because we believe DeFi, it will, it will become part of the traditional economy. This is absolutely normal. Now, Mathis De Vries is a second uh, co-founder of Alliance Block and a CTO, Chief Technology Officer. And as you might have expected, he has an extensive developer background, which is an excellent requisite for being a CTO. He has 15 plus years of experience, mainly from the Netherlands. During that time, he's built up some of his startups. He was over nine years in PostNL, which is arguably the largest parcel company in Netherlands. And he was also the manager here. Uh, don't forget that uh, we started back in 2018. We started uh, in, in the middle of a bear market and uh, we went all the way through it. And uh, we didn't have any TGE. We didn't have any token on the market. And, uh, and we did it because you know our, uh, we are no mercy and we know what to uh, what, what we can do with uh, little amounts of, uh, of, of, of of funding we can so even whatever happens we know we know what to do with little resources if uh, if, if necessary Amber Gehadar is the last co-founder of Alliance block and the last person we're going to talk about in this video similar to Rashid she comes from a banking background and with impressive education and arguably very impressive connections. She has two MSCs, one in neuroelectrophysiology and one in microelectronics and nanotechnologies. She also has PhD in molecular, molecular medicine. She spent six years in a major bank, JP Morgan Chase, and one year in Goldman Sachs. The end goal of a society is to reach a state of equilibrium. Till today, she is a lecturer and for a good reason, because uh, apart from her impressive education and impressive connections, she uh, appears to have a talent for speech, being one of the best female speakers in a blockchain space I have seen. Well, well, what can I say? It's been a, an exciting year and we live in exciting times. It's because the fourth industrial revolution especially automation and AI, is going to create a huge unemployment in our, modern, um, in our modern society. We never really recovered from the financial crisis of 2008. But history doesn't end. And it's time for you, for me, for us to make history again. 